I am here in the new tower. This is a place to be in this beautiful city of Kampen. It's the highest point of the city, if I'm right. Yeah, quite, yeah. Or is the Bobenkirk even higher? No. The, the place where we can stand is even high. Um, and the tower over there is just the same level. Okay. I'm here in the good company of Iris and Jos. And uh, why is this tower so important for the city of Kampen? Who wants to say something? It shows the, the mighty state of Kampen around 1500. Yeah, the mighty state of Kampen. Because Kampen in 1500 was really big, way bigger than, for example, Amsterdam. Amsterdam yes. Yeah. And um, they uh, started building this tower to show how important they still were, but the financial debts kept going and kept coming um, but with this tower they tried to show the rest of the Netherlands how important they were tell me what is why is a cow hanging over there well uh, when they were building the tower uh, um, the, the money was gone they had no money to build it and the grass was growing on the tower and they didn't like it the, the people in Kampen so they uh, had a lot of city farmers and they said, you have a cow, come bring that cow, because cows love grass. We're gonna lift that cow up, but in place that they put um, uh, a tower uh, around the belly, they put it around the neck. Mm. And they don't like that, because uh, when he went upstairs, he was dead. But smart. <laughs> smart. So you don't need to go actually to Italy to see a vended tower because the tower of Kampen, the new tower, is actually also vended. It was built on wooden, uh, on wood and uh, cow skin. Yeah. So after a few years, it got rotten and then it bent over a little bit. But now it's all safe. No worries. You can go upstairs. It's completely safe. Yeah. That's very good that you say so because actually I'm terrified for highs. So I did this tower before in a couple of months and I must tell you I was really really scared. I yeah. even have the feeling that I was like moving. Yeah. But if you say that's safe, I trust you. Yeah. Just give me a hand. Yes. And we'll go upstairs together. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. <laughs> so we are going to do this. I'm going to do this just for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be shit scared, so please don't laugh too much. This is the first. This is the first stage. The first one. Oh my God! I'm already need uh, something to do with my condition. I was to say, <coughs> I'm ill. <coughs> so the fact that I'm even trying is already a challenge for me. Okay. Doors are closed, but yeah. Oh wow! We're in the middle of an escape room. Right here. Okay. So never we in this tower. Yes. So now uh, we're on uh, 11 meters height. Um, the floor oh, you is. Shouldn't say that. You shouldn't <laughs> say that. <laughs> the floor is just right there, um, and we're in escape room camper right now because we made an escape room in this tower um, where people can relive the the past. They get uh, locked up inside of this little hallway and have to get their way out on top to the or to the roof. And then they open the last uh, door and give the view back to uh, the people in Kampen. Oh my god. That's okay. the story. Very, very nice place to be. Uh, I know this is a stupid, but I already feel the building moving. It's not. It's not moving, yeah, I know, it's but it's, it's in my head. So let's go over there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is the engine of the clock, the clock work. Yeah, and this is going to make noise now, noise? No, it's not. No. No, it's quite, um, it's quite quiet. It's built in 1880, so ah. it's quite old. Um, but uh, they made a, the atom clock. Yes. Um, so that makes uh, that the, um, the time is always right. Because this one, it's not always right. <laughs> Sometimes it's 10 minutes past, 10 minutes before. So. Well, it's still working. Yeah, it is still working. It's indeed. not accurate, but it's still working. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, let's go over. I did 
did it. <laughs> it was, I must admit, the first time was more uh, a terrifying experience. Now I feel a little bit my blood pressure in my ears because I'm still scared. But um, yeah, that was cool. It was, right? This is one of the nicest views you can get in the Netherlands, I guess. Probably, yeah, because it's the be most beautiful city, so. How old are you? I'm 27. And for how long have you been uh, bowling here? Uh, f one, the 1st of April 2014, so. Oh, so it's quite a while. Yeah. And what is nice to, 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 to work here in the tower? Well, the view is, is always nice. Sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's fully with sun. Um, sometimes the things happen in the streets, uh, sometimes it's just a boat. It, every day is different on the tower. Can you tell me a very nice experience of some visitor or someone working here? No, it's not one thing in particular, but um, everyone who comes at the tower and some people lived here in the past, they all have their own stories. Uh, someone, his dad got locked up in the tower. Oh my God, are we talking about ghosts? No, no, no. It's, it was in the World War when there was a Russia in the streets. Um, they, they put his, his dad in, in the tower. And oh my God. Oh. So they couldn't find him and he survived. So. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Well, thank you very much for the cheer. Thank you very much for the company. Thank you very much for the confidence. <laughs> And here you have the beautiful view of the tower from Campen. No puedo, Robbie, me da miedo. I take this stuff? Oh my god, I'm terrifying right now. I don't know why. I'm freaking out. I'm still very scared and with this horrible strong wind in front of me but I don't want to leave the top of this tower without interviewing one of the most interesting characters in Campen. Oh my god, I'm so scared! So, Cow of Campen, tell me, how does it feel to be hanging there every fucking year? Are you having a good time? How does it feel to be a symbol for a whole city? I think this was really, really enlightening. <laughs>